I'm here at the Tunnel Shooting Range in Charmouth, Devon to celebrate Sniper Elite 4. I'm going to get to fire a real life sniper rifle and shoot this guy, my boss, Dan Webb, right in the face. Ever wanted to shoot your boss? I'm going to get to live out that fantasy. Enjoy. So there you go, there's my handiwork. We did it. Got a few around the eyes, a couple in the head. I think that's pretty good all round, right? So, having finished putting bullet holes into Dan's face on the 35 meter range, it's time to move on to the 100 meter range to fire the M1930 Springfield, a US bolt action sniper rifle with a two times scope from the World War I era. It's one of the main weapons in Sniper Elite 4. Check out what it does to this gelatin head. So here you can see the bullet going in through the cheek and kind of out the back of the neck. Not the cleanest of shots, but definitely a kill shot or at least something that would, uh, you know, kind of ruin your life. And here's a kind of similar shot. We've sort of tried to replicate it in Sniper Elite 4 here. So that didn't quite seem to do the job. So we've got a bit of an upgrade to a modern sniper rifle with a bipod and 15 times scope. You can't really miss with this one. Just take a look at what it does to the gelatin head this time, simulating the impact of a bullet on an actual human head just like in the game. Ouch, someone get that fella an aspirin. And here's a similar eye-popping shot in Sniper Elite 4 itself. So we've had a good day shooting Dan in the face with various rifles on the 35 meter range. We've just done the 100 meter range with the Springfield rifle, 100 years old would you believe? And we got him through the cheek, then we tried the modern sniper rifle, got him in the left eye. So there you go, Sniper Elite 4 is out on February 14th, you'll be able to try it for yourself in the game. Cheers!